We would like to welcome you to this June 17th meeting of the Corsicana ISD Board of Trustees. This is a regularly scheduled meeting and all items that have, will be discussed have been posted. While this is a meeting in public, it is not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby for audience for guests and follow the instructions on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budget, establish policy, and provide oversight. We are not here to solve or manage individual problems. Management is the responsibility of our superintendent. As a board, we believe we must educate every child, give every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and provide a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. And those are our core values. We appreciate your interest in the students of CISD. I would like the record to show that all seven board members are here and we do have a quorum. First item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. Next item on our agenda is the superintendent report. Um, United Way was supposed to attend this evening and they are not here yet. So we're gonna give them an opportunity if, if they are able to come. So we're gonna adjourn into closed session at this time as permitted by Texas Governance Code section 551.01. call this meeting back into order. Is there any action that needs to be taken from closed session? There is. I make a motion that we hire Natasha Polk as Carol's assistant principal. I have a motion to have a second to hire Natasha Polk as the assistant principal at Carroll Elementary. I second. I have a motion and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Welcome, Ms. Paul, to Carroll <laughs> Elementary. <laughs> Thank you. Do we have any further action that needs to be taken from closed session? We do. I also make a motion that we hire Jessica Bentz at Fannin Elementary as um, assistant principal. Okay. And motion is second to name Jessica Bentz as the assistant principal at Fannin Elementary. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Welcome Jessica Bitts as the assistant principal at Canyon Elementary. Do we have any further action that needs to be taken? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to make a motion that we hire Holly Cannon um, as assistant principal over at Navarro, as well as, no, I'll just do that one. Holly Cannon as um, assistant principal at Navarro Elementary. Our motion is second to name Holly Cannon as the assistant principal for Navarro Elementary. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Welcome, Holly. <laughs> Do we have any further action? Yes, ma'am. 
I also make a motion that we hire Jessica Ward as AP at Navarre Elementary as well. Second. Our motion is second <laughs> to name Jessica Ward as an assistant principal at Navarre Elementary. All in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? Welcome Jessica Ward to Navarro Elementary. <laughs> Do we have any further action that needs to be taken? Yes, ma'am. I also make a motion <laughs> that we hire Amy Weaver as assistant principal at Collins Middle School, Corsicana Middle School um, as the AP. Second. We have a motion is second to name Amy Weaver as an assistant principal at Course Cannon Middle School. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. Welcome, Amy Weaver. All right. Next, uh, we have discussion action items. And first is the fleet upgrade. All right. Thank you, Madam President, Ms. Howe, members of the board. Uh, I'm requesting approval of the White Fleet proposal. Uh, you heard a proposal from Mr. Farmer a couple of weeks ago in regard to upgrading our uh, White Fleet for maintenance and operations that included six uh, pickup trucks and two SUVs, uh, two expeditions, as a matter of fact. The grand total of uh, $469,000 to be spread out amongst six years at an annual uh, amount of $95,000. Are there any questions to go back over that? Remember we had um, seen the presentation in our board work workshop earlier um, this year, and so. I move that we approve the purchase of six Ford F-250 trucks and two Ford Expeditions for the amount of $459,586. We have um, a question, discussion. I do want to ask, it, um, you said 469 or 459? 469 is what I said. Just to make sure I told you correctly. <laughs> it's 450. Okay. Thank you for the question. So, uh, eight vehicles purchase price of $459,586. Yes, ma'am. I would like to add something to the proposal, if you wouldn't mind. Um, there have been some talks uh, amongst uh, cabinet and, and I believe with the board in regard to upgrading our ag truck that we use uh, that's, that would be fully funded through CTE money. The current ag, ag truck is a, a one ton. It's a two wheel drive. It's got 74,500 miles on it. Uh, would be a great vehicle to roll down into our maintenance and operations program as well. Uh, the quote that we have got on a new Ford F-350 would be right at $57,000. That would, that would be a crew cab, four wheel drive, one ton. Um, and we, I've met with Mr. Johnson and Ms. Howe today. We can't we can fund that vehicle fully through local CTE funds. Uh, if the board would, would be interested in allowing us to roll that into this as well. Is that a diesel or gasoline? That'd be gas. I won't. I'm not going to approve a gasoline pickup for if we're hauling trailers. I mean, that's just me. I mean, that. What, for mileage purposes? What's, what's the reason? For, for pulling ability and mileage purposes. But I mean, I, I guess, but how much do they pull though a year? How about that? How many days a year do they pull? Miles. How many miles does that truck put on there a year? that truck, Mr. Johnson? How old? 2015. Four miles down. Wait, I'm going miles. Yeah, they don't go any miles. Okay. Then I'm fine. 74,000 miles. Oh, okay. That's that, four, that's that big engine forward. It's, it's okay, forward. yeah, okay. Uh, but I, just, I can certainly wait and go back and get quotes on both uh, if that's. Well, we're looking at the, we're looking at $10,000 or $15,000. Yeah. It's not, that's we're true. Don't, we're, they don't go enough miles to do that. That's true. If, you're, if, we, if it's how old, JP? It's well before my time. Uh, I think it's like 2015. Yeah. Oh, uh, 2015. Oh. Mr. Thompson thinks before it is too. Okay. Then, yeah, we'll never get the money back on the diesel then. 10 or 15, somewhere yeah. around there. 
this Miss Shiner is the one that purchased that when she was an assistant soup. So that was, I think, it was like almost 10 years ago. Right, okay. And, and we're, and we're still going to keep the other diesel pickup, right? Yeah, yes, sir. It'll roll right into maintenance operations. Ah, yes, sir. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. But we'd have to do two motions, wouldn't we? Because if it's going to come out of two separate funds. Uh, and I was going to uh, make this correction for you as well. I was looking at the, the presentation from last time, and uh, uh, Brian wasn't wrong. He just wasn't sure yet on how long that lease agreement would be. He had uh, posted that it would be five years. It's actually a six-year agreement uh, that would be within the budget allotment that we've currently been paying on, on vehicles. It'd be in, right at $95,000. And then that extra vehicle that would be used for ag would come from, not from our uh, uh, 199 budget, but from the CTE funds. I could put it in consent agenda. I could put the uh, Ford F350 in consent agenda for the next board meeting. If you want to approve this one tonight. Yeah, I I want to go ahead and approve the ones we have listed and then we can um, look at the F-350 uh, next month. And I can get, I can get decent numbers too, that way you have a boat. With as many miles, I thought that truck was new. Um, it's my apologies. Okay. If we're putting that many miles on it, specific. that's something different. Yeah. Right. Okay, we have a motion to approve the White Fleet update, upgrade. Do we have a second? A second. So we have a motion is second to approve six Ford F-250 trucks, two Ford Expeditions for the amount of $459,586 as presented. All in favor? Aye. Uh, any opposed? All right, that passes. Thank you very much. Okay, we have a motion to approve the consent agenda. Do you have a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second to approve, approve the consent agenda. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. Consent agenda passes. Now we are going to move into closed section, closed session, as permitted by Texas Governance Code 551.01. Thank you.